Hi everyone. So same evening, lower back pain series. I don't have any lower back pain this evening, so I'm super grateful for that. But I worked for the cup for the last couple of days with that. And after that series, let's enjoy a short flow. It's evening, I had a little wine. I enjoyed a little bit of sushi. So I thought, why not move my body before I go to sleep or before I lay on the couch and watch a movie or read a book. I'm a big fan of Haruki Murakami and I'm killing, and I'm killing, I'm actually killing it, yeah. I'm reading currently Killing Commentatore, an amazing book. For all those fans out there, out there that love e-reading, I strongly recommend it. So I would like a slow flow, uh, actually no, maybe a medium flow practice and then um, go back and lay on the couch. No more than 20 minutes. Start easy, curl your toes under, sit back onto your heels, and let the palms reach space between the eyebrows. You can move the elbows out of the way. Take a big inhale, big exhale. <sighs> Press into the toes, tuck the tailbone, reach it up, take a big breath in. Exhale, sit it back down and take the fingertips down to the earth, look down. We're gonna do this again. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, take it back down. Take it up, inhale, open. Take yourself into a gentle twist, exhale. If you are like me and you are restricted in your twist, don't go too far. Center, inhale, you can take the hips with you. Makes me feel more comfortable. Exhale to the right. Open, right palm back, left palm forward. Back into the ceiling, take a big inhalation and take that prayer to the heart and exhale. Find your way there, close your eyes. Gaze at the space in front of you. Make an intention for your practice. Breathe it in and breathe it out. As the palms reach forward, find your way in downward facing dog, send that right leg up into the ceiling, keep reaching. Find your three-legged dog as you lengthen through that right leg. Inhale, come high up onto the left tippy toes and step the right foot forward, exhale. Look forward at the space between the palms. Exhale, step it forward, Dutanasana, forward fold. Take a halfway up, big inhalation. Step the right foot back, step the left foot back and find your way to plank pose to Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra up or facing dog, inhale, I keep a blanket for my knees and exhale it back, especially if I end up onto my back. I like to support my back. If you have too much blanket and your feet are not touching properly the mat, fold the blanket, so make sure you are comfortable there. Downward facing dog, left leg lift, inhale. Press through the heel, turn the toes down, drop the head, engage, lift high up onto the right tippy toes, keep reaching. Left foot steps forward and exhale, draw the shoulder blades back and find a low lunge. Hug the legs into each other, exhale, step it forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway up, inhale. This time I move into a chair pose, exhale. I'm gonna interlace the fingertips forward. Index finger releases. Take it to the left. Find your center. Take it to the right. Find your center. Reach into Utkatasana, inhale. Fold and exhale. Halfway up, lengthen. Step the right foot back. Left foot follows. Plank pose to Chaturanga. Cobra upper facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left foot stays and right leg lifts, right knee bends, big breath in. Right foot steps forward, left knee comes down. Find an Anjani Asana, opening the chest, take a big breath in, shine through the heart, reach through the fingers. Take it forward, take the palms back, you can interlace at the back, tuck the chin in the chest and bow inside of that right foot. Hug the legs into each other, take another breath. Release the palms, frame the right foot, left knee lift, step it back, downward facing dog, plant the palms down, make sure both feet are connecting. Plank pose to Chaturanga, use that for your flow, exhale it down to the earth. Cobra upper facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts up, big inhalation, bend the left knee, open the left side of your body. Left foot steps forward in between the palms, drop that right knee down. That's why I like that blanket. Inhale, open the chest. Breathe, shine the heart, reach. You can press more into the left foot, growing longer if your lower back hurts. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Curl the back toes, lift the right knee, 
Step it forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway up, big inhalation, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Keep reaching through the arm. So I'm going to move you with me. I have nothing in mind for this evening. I just want and feel like I want to move my body. I interlace my fingers and notice what your body needs. I feel a side bend, right, center, inhale, left and exhale, center. Prayer comes to the heart center, left foot steps back, left heel drops. I open into a warrior two, keep pressing into the right foot, draw through the left arm back, find your way into warrior, inhale, extended side angle, exhale, reach the left arm up and over, take a big inhalation and a big exhalation. You can look, you look under the arm or down at the right, draw yourself back up, inhale, straighten the right leg, interlace at the back, Fold, exhale, the crown of the head heavy. Move that upper body left and right. Like a pendulum, activate the legs, flat back lengthen. Bend the knees slightly, take a big breath in. Keep the fingertips under the shoulders, use blocks under the palms if you need to. Inhale up, exhale round. And again, inhale arch, my knees are slightly, slightly bent. I'm gonna walk it to the left. Find a low lunge, take a big breath in. Fingertips frame the left foot, drop the right knee down, reach up, Anjaneyasana, left side, inhale. Interlace the palms at the back and exhale. Draw the crown forward, take the palms forward. Take a big breath in. Take the palms down and bow inside of that left leg. Lift off of the right knee, step it back, downward facing dog. Plank pose to Chaturanga, exhale it down. Cobra upper facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts up, big inhalation. Left foot steps forward, all the way, drop that right heel down. Lift it up, warrior two, look back, adjust. Bend the left knee, stay at the center, reach through the fingers, inhale. Extend and exhale, send the right arm up and over, press into the foot, open through the chest. Look under the right arm. Keep exploring that side of the body. Breathe it in, breathe it out. You can stay here longer, or you can draw yourself up into a warrior two, Viravadrasana two. Big breath in, big breath out. Left leg extends, inhale, palms reach up. Turn the left toes in, reach and lengthen. Straddle the legs, exhale, fold, crown of the head heavy. At the space between the legs to your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, you can grab the back of the legs, let the crown of the head heavy and bow. Say no with the head. Maybe elbows come down for support. Maybe you bend one knee, right knee bend. Right leg extend. Maybe you bend the left knee, left knee bend. Left leg extend. Halfway up, inhale, walk it to the right. Find your low lunge, drop the left knee down. Take the fingertips back, open the chest, inhale. Bow inside of the right foot, palms can be down, framing the right. And let the crown of the head heavy. Come off of the left knee, step the right foot back. Downward facing dog, plank pose to Chaturanga, move with the flow. Cobra upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, exhale. Big breath in, big breath out. One grounding breath. Left leg lifts up, big breath in, and extend. Come high up onto the right tippy toes, reach through the left, up into the sky. Left foot steps forward, right heel comes down. Find the warrior one. Explore, hook the big thumbs, open the chest. Offer the body forward, so take the crown towards the forward wall, let the prayer come to the heart center. Draw the fingertips back. Take them to the side. Take them forward. Keep that warrior one into the legs. Reach it up. Inhale. Left leg extends. Left leg. Left foot out turns in. You're going to straddle the leg to the side of the room. Open. Big inhalation. Brush the back of the legs and let the crown of the head heavy down into the earth. Halfway up. Inhale. Keep reaching. Fold over the left leg and bow. You can grab it or not. Inhale, flat back, center. Exhale, right leg, bow, breathe. 
Find your way at the center on the next inhale. Keep pressing away, bend your knees slightly. Take a big breath in. Right knee bends, left leg extends. You can take the toes up into the ceiling. You can grab the foot. You can let yourself bow inside if you have no restriction. Or you can stay here with prayer at the heart. Find your way at the center. Take a big inhalation and go to the other side. Left knee bend, right seat bone might drop. You can stay here, you can bow. You can take prayer to the heart. I really like this lengthening in the spine as the right toes are turning up into the ceiling. Fingertips come down, find your way at the center. Take a flat back, reach it up into the ceiling. Take a big inhale. Curl the toes 45 degrees onto the left leg. Right toes turn. And I find the warrior one at the back of the mat, right knee bend. Take a big breath in, take it forward. Bend the elbows, take the fingertips back, wait here, inhale and exhale. I bow into it, breathe it in, breathe it out. Let the palms frame the right foot, lift the left heel, step it back, downward facing dog. To Chaturanga when you're ready, cobra upper facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Drop the head, bend one knee, bend the other. Take the right knee towards the right wrist, enjoying a pigeon pose on the right side. You can bend and arch into the back. Make sure the back toes are drawing back. Let the heart shine forward and up, inhale. You can bow down to the earth and exhale. Elbows are to the side or arms lengthen forward, supported or not. Take two extra breaths. One more. <sighs> Lift it up, inhale. Sit onto that mat, send the left leg to the left, send the right leg to the right. Straddle the legs. Let the side of the body extend into the right leg. So you're folding over the right leg in, forehead heavy. When you're ready, lift it up, inhale. Use your arms to travel to the left leg, exhale. Belly, chest, and forehead. Down to the left leg bow. And maybe finding your way at the center. If you have those blocks the way I have them here, you can use them. You can stay here with the blocks under. You can take the blocks under your forearms. Maybe you want to take three to five breaths. You can look left, you can look right. Or if you have the blocks and you really want to extend forward, so watch me here, I just use the blocks to move forward and bow the belly and the chest down to the earth. Keep turning the toes up, lengthening through the spine. Take one more breath. And again. Draw yourself back up, take a big inhalation. You can leave the blocks where they are, bend the left knee and find a pigeon pose on the left side. Right leg drops back, open the chest. I like to take my fingertips to the sides on the mat, of the mat, open the chest, look up, inhale, and bow to the earth, exhale. My elbows stay bent, breathe. Big breath in, big breath out. Lift it up, big inhalation. Palms touch the earth, curl the back toes and send it back. Now we're facing the plank pose to Chaturanga. Just your feet move slowly into the flow. Exhale. Cobra up, facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Lift through the left leg up. Big inhalation. Left foot forward. Right knee down. Let's give the right quad a stretch. Grab the back right foot and bow it forward. Drop the crown of the head heavy if you want. You can take a twist. So that right heel comes into the glute. And you really want to feel that. So you can take the heel into the glute and flex it. You can take the toes. And if that's not available, move the hip over the knee and drop the heel into the glute. So this is more than enough. Now you can take it forward and you can take it back. Massaging your knee. Make sure you have a blanket underneath one more. And go again. As you release the foot, take the palms down, frame the left leg, big inhalation, step it forward, Uttanasana, forward, forward. 
Halfway up, inhale, bow, exhale to the sky. Take it up, big breath in to the earth with your thought. Halfway up, inhale, step, step back. Hop, jump, plank pose to Chaturanga. Exhale. Cobra, upper facing dog, big breath in. Higher, faster pace. Exhale it, up and back, downward facing dog. Bend one knee, bend the other. Right leg lifts up, big inhalation. Right foot steps forward, left knee down. Same procedure, second side, rubbing the left foot. And reach it forward, give it a stretch. Sometimes I like to come on my forearm, so I will show you the other variation on this side. Taking the whole body forward, right toes turn to the right, I turn to the right. Or you can take it down to the earth. Breathe deeply. So when you go down to the ground, maybe being onto that left forearm is not conducive. So you might use a block under the left forearm. You're still going to grab the foot and you are still going to go there. Relax the chin in the chest. This is easier. You might need to turn. Take one more. Right palm comes down, I release the plank, send it back down the facing dog. Plank pose to Chaturanga, when you're ready, if it can be separated or slightly towards each other. Cobra upper facing dog, inhale, Urva Mukha Shvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. I bend one knee, bend one, the other. Drop the knees down, find your way into sitting. Sits bones on the mat. You can use the blocks to the side if you want to engage into the core. And this should feel really, really good. So I really like this. You can have your legs cross, half cross, half lotus, full lotus. And then you can press yourself into those blocks to the side. Maybe use your fist on your palms, reaching up. Lift the seat bones off of the ground. Maybe belly engages, maybe both legs lift. So if you can take full lotus, You'll cross one leg over the other. You will use those blocks. Press yourself into them. Engage into the core. Tuck the belly in and lift it up. Hover it over. Maybe you shake it a bit and then you sit it back down. Releasing the blocks, releasing the legs. Extend them to the corners of the mat. Beat the back of the legs into the ground. Send the palms up, inhale. Fold the space between the legs, exhale, let the body move left and right. Maybe you move in circles one way, in circles the other way. And when you find your center, cross both legs, take a spinal twist, lengthen, breathe it in. Twist into the left, big breath out, center in. Twisting to the right and exhale. Look back. Center on the inhalation. Set the palms to the sides and up. And let yourself bow to the earth. You can finish your practice here in a forward fold. You can make two fists and place the forehead down. If you can use blocks, you can use a block under the forehead. Close your eyes. Let your body breathe, let the shoulders soften. And I invite you to rest here or find, or find Shavasana, corpse pose, end of your practice. Allow the breath to release. can lock the door in the house you are in and you can take a few moments for yourself full shavasana you can light up a candle turn the lights off connecting to that beautiful natural breath of your body breathing in
Thank you for joining me. Life is a lifestyle. You've practiced with Christina. I wish you a beautiful evening. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.